people don't like that. I mean, I understand the frustration. And then they say, oh, well, we should have SpaceX, which does things a lot cheaper, which they do, and a lot faster, which they do. But they're, because there's an irony when in, because they're so much more efficient, they have a much, much smaller footprint around the country. So their political, invested political coalition is a lot smaller. So they're actually at cross purposes, efficiency and political stability in terms of, you know, kind of does my district benefit from this moon program? Mm. And so the, these are the types of inputs that I think are really fascinating. Why do we have this rocket that costs roughly $4 billion per launch, right? We'll launch $4 billion, $4 billion to, to launch per the launch. full stack with the Orion. Expensive. It launches once a year, which is crazy low at most, right? Uh, you versus, know, SpaceX has over 100 launches mm -hmm. this year. Yeah. And, and, and it's, it's only, <laughs> it's only <laughs> September. Well, well, you have then, yeah, then you have Starship, right? Which is the, the whole space, like, which is like everything will be made obsolete by Starship, which it might be. But the reason why it persists, and they, so the, the Trump administration tried to cancel this rocket this year. But you know what happened is that Ted Cruz, no critic, no real critic of Trump, completely wrote into their, a separate bill, nope, you're actually going to fund this, you're going to spend a billion dollars on this every year. But for see, that years. sounds like it's more like a jobs program than yep. advancement. I it mean. is, but, but I like to say, space is the only industry that is a shame that it makes jobs. Like, great, I love jobs. 